the polar vortex is a circulation of winds high up in the stratosphere. We're looking up to 30 miles above the Earth's surface. It's always present in winter, and it is not a new phenomenon. Scientists have known about the polar vortex for many, many years. It can strengthen and it can weaken. Typically, it has winds contained within it uh, over 150 miles an hour, as strong as some of the most powerful hurricanes on the Earth's surface. However, the polar vortex can weaken, and when this happens, it can break down and distort. And when this happens, well, it can potentially affect the weather at the surface across the UK. A weaker polar vortex can lead to a weakening of the jet stream. The jet stream is a fast-moving ribbon of air. It's high up, but it's nowhere near as high as the polar vortex. We're looking now at six or seven miles above the Earth's surface. It's the jet stream that drives low-pressure systems off the Atlantic, usually bringing spells of wet and windy weather. In a typical winter, the jet stream is quite strong, and when that happens, it frequently drives in warm, wet winds from the Atlantic. However, when the jet stream weakens, that allows more chance for east or northeasterly winds to bring colder air from the Arctic or the near continent. In summary then, a weaker polar vortex can lead to a weakening of the jet stream. And that potentially leads to a colder, maybe snowier winter.